Martin Flowers duly replaced Bobby Mims in goal today at Loftus Road. The number nines on either side, England internationals Ferdinand of Queen's Park Rangers and Blackburn Shearer. Tony Gubber was at this game. Newell. Well, it was intended for Batty, instead he found Bradley Allen. Now Simon Barker, just Ferdinand forward. David May was the last defender, Ferdinand! Tim Flowers makes his first save as a Blackburn Rovers player. Impey. Hendry took it down, but he gave it to Bradley Allen. Alan Shearer's run was always covered by Peacock, and Alan Shearer's holding his back. He made a diagonal run to try and get on the end of that, and may have pulled something. And that's not a good sign for Blackburn or for England. And in fact, Alan Gunn has stopped play. Uh, what exactly did Alan Shearer pull? He started a, a run into that wide right position and immediately checked and put his hands into the small of his bag. What a sad sight in English football. Alan Shearer is now pulled off by a concerned Blackburn Rovers manager, Kenny Dalgleish, and replaced by Graham Lasseau. Broken for Bradley Allen, and Hendry did very well to play that clear while he was on the floor. Holloway was fouled by Batty. Wilson with the kick. Ferdinand won it, down to Sinclair. Tries to hook it across to Allen. Shot was blocked, came off Allen Wright corner to Rangers Queen's Park Rangers haven't failed to score at home in the last 11 matches but they've only 9 minutes left to do it here this is Holloway just hooked back in it's in Ferdinand claims it but you'd have to look at it again to be absolutely certain From the corner, the ball hooked back in by Holloway, right under the crossbar, and Ferdinand claims that he got the final touch. Lasso, space has opened up for him, gone for a curler! Oh, it was perfection. Do you know exactly what the injury is? It's just the physios just said I've just moved, just probably twisted my back at the bottom a little bit. Um, someone had the, the similar situation earlier on in the season, and he says it'll probably take three or four days to heal up. So it's a muscular thing that. Yeah, um, he said it's, it's just a, a twist at the bottom, um, and he said, as I said, I think it was Kevin Moran had the similar injury earlier on in the season, um, and he he said it was three or four days before he was back, and then it was completely gone. So I'll, I'll keep my fingers crossed that it's as short as that.